I'd now like to introduce you to Lynx Light. This is how the Lynx Light opens from onset, and you can see now that we once again have buttons that we have seen in full links if you've used that previously. But this is my simple pencil mode here. I can select my pen color, my pen width, and simply come and start to write on brainstorm, etc., on a nice big palette. If I make a mistake, I go to a simple eraser function now. I have highlighter function here. And if I have something selected as an object, I can delete, I can also undo and redo. I have a very simple set of controls on the side here. So this is my page one again. I can create a new page from this button here, which becomes page two, page three, etc. I can also launch my calculator. And if I do require the use of a keyboard, I can press keyboard function here. AA is the symbol to insert type text. And I can insert my type text from the onboard keyboard there. Other buttons that I have along the top line here are the ability to launch the spotlighter. This is now set in square mode. I can move that around page to highlight different areas of screen. I exit from the drop down here. I also have the ability to launch again the curtain. So I can open and close the curtain on my work here. And again, exit this mode from the drop down. The forward and back buttons are self explanatory, simply allow me to go from page to page. I can also simulate my right mouse click from this point here. This button here allows me to either see my slide sort of view or not, as the case may be. I'll go to new page to show you the next function. This button here allows me to do flowcharts quite simply. I now drag and drop different shapes onto my screen and if so desired I can make connections between these objects. But now by double clicking on the object this now allows me to create text with inside the box and when I next go back to cursor mode, I can move the box around, for example, the text stays with inside the box. This button along the top here allows me actually to flick between full links, which looks like this, or resume to links light like this. I've got the ability to minimize my links down to the taskbar by these buttons here, or close links here. So it's just a set of very simple controls along a very simplified toolbar at the top of my screen. Or similarly, I can use the drag facility to drag the toolbar and drop it anywhere I so desire. New page. From the top row here, I've now got some very simple functionality. I could, if I wished, insert audio or video or flash files from this point here. And under the tools menu, I have still options. And this allows me to change language, change the size of my characters and icons from this point. Now you'll see when I go to handset mode, I have a very simplified handset. This handset is now floating over the top of my desktop and is movable around the desktop like so. This handset allows me now to work with other applications. So I could go to, say, a Word document. Word is now the live document. By pressing on annotation mode here, I have two choices. I can go to static annotation, select, for example, pencil mode, and annotate on top of the Word document, and return to handset by pressing this button here, which is my square with the arrows pointing in. The Word document is once again live. I'll close Word. And when I now go back to my links document, lo and behold, there's that document that was snapshotted and has been saved, including my annotations. I can also go to, I'll say, a Word document here. And I can go to my other format of annotation, which is exportable annotation. This now allows me to annotate on top of 
a Microsoft application. And if I come to this button here and effectively export that information into the Word document, that's where it lies. If I return to Links Lite, of course, there's nothing on that page because that's not where that information is now stored. But if I try and close down the Word document, it will ask me, do I want to save the changes? If I did save the changes, that annotation would drop into the Word document. Exportable an annotation is therefore used to annotate on top of any Microsoft Office application, whether it be a Word, Excel, a PowerPoint, and it can also be saved inside that application as well. And I have camera mode. It gives me some op options on snapshot um, features. By double-clicking on rectangular area here, for example, I can then go over any other application, maybe website, maybe a picture, maybe some other piece of work that you wish to capture. This is a rectangular area capture here. I capture the piece of work. It will say it's been renamed and saved. And now when I go back to Link's Light application, lo and behold, there's that piece of work saved. If I wanted to duplicate that piece of work, I could actually clone that piece of work quite easily from here and use it over and over again. So this going to handset mode allows me quite conveniently to jump in and jump out of Link's Light, but also gives me the functionality, the flexibility to be able to annotate or take snapshots of other work as I so wish. Other features on the handset, this button allows me to go off to my um, internet browser. I can launch my calculator from here, my keyboard, select new slide, or in fact, select my next click on screen as a right mouse click.